Audio testing, 1275. Video testing, getting rid of the stupid streaming shortly thing. Wait. That, oh, shit. There we go. Okay, I think we're live. Live from New York with someone else. Okay, give me a second here. What the hell am I doing? All right, hello and welcome to the stream. Um, nobody. And uh, sorry about yesterday, had a lot of problems and ended up just streaming a banner for about half an hour and never actually getting things set up. I've been making a few changes uh, to the stream that are invisible to you, hopefully, but help me out or are visible to you and don't help me out. So either I don't know which one it is. OK. Um, so, oh, good. The date's not right, because that's always fun. OK, so. Um, I talked about earlier computing planetary positions in JavaScript so I could overlay them on the ecliptic map that I'm also creating that is also not working. So um, really quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of uh, failure here is occurring. Um, now one issue that we had uh, and, and one thing I could do is I actually have an ast astronomy library uh, that I'd forgotten about. Uh, called BC Astro Lib, uh, and it actually does quite a bit of cool stuff. Um, it'll give you the, uh, you know, if you know, the right ascension declination of some, whoa, uh, okay. Um, it'll tell you that it's azimuth and elevation uh, given your latitude, longitude, and the time. It's a very simple formula, and you could use the same for very similar formula to get the time an object will rise or set, assuming it does rise or set. Uh, these were all actually, as you can see, copied from a uh, from a different library that I created where I, had, not this one, but this one here, where for some reason I decided I wanted to make all my variables two letters and in lexicographical order, alphabetical order. So ev this is just bizarre. I don't know why I did this at that time. Um, I've done a lot of stupid things in my life, and this is apparently one of them. Uh, and it wasn't even really that consistent, because you can see here we have um, a B A. Uh, but I haven't gone through, I don't think I have an A, well, AZ would be azimuth, but I don't think I have an AY or anything. It's like a very strange kind of thing to do. Um, mod function with the right ascension and declination. Um, oh, yeah, this is this is the one that would convert, you know, and this is not the ecliptic, uh, this is not the ecliptic latitude and longitude. This converts the ecliptic longitude and latitude to right ascension and declination, and I'm almost sure, um, wait. Oh, it computes both, given the orbital element. So this is the um, this is the uh, the code that basically solves. And you notice I'm not doing a good job. Skipping recursive routine to it solves uh, Kepler's equation of the mean, and it basically gives you converts osculating elements to position. I think I have a better one though here. Um, hmm. Uh, Arcsign not defined in Perl. I'm pretty sure it is defined in JavaScript, but it, it's a it's a format. Orbital elements. Da 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 da. There is a place where I definitely do do, do the uh, and these are just orbital elements given by uh, Paul Schleider, who I mentioned up here. Uh, there's more accurate ones I'm going to use from VSOP, uh, and I'm probably not. Obviously, I'm changing it to JavaScript, so it's not going to be this. Um, this is really old stuff, um, and I think here. Um, nope. Uh, okay, it is Pomodoro time, but it's the first one, so we're going to skip it. All right, somewhere in here I actually do go through the X, Y, Z plan. I think there's actually a separate routine for it. Um, wow. A lot of crap. I'm kind of surprised you did all this. There is something here called nice array and nice deck just prints stuff nicely. Um, and I think there's actually something here called Kepler. Here it is. And what's cool here is I use a function I wrote in Perl called find root. Uh, Perl actually, some people say it doesn't treat functions as first class objects. It kind of does. You can pass functions in and out um, of, a, of a routine, uh, like, like basically like this. Uh, this is uh, Kepler's equation as the uh, statement of 
God, I'm, I'm really tight here with this, but um, uh, Kepler's equation is solved when the input minus the eccentricity times the sine of the input is equal to the um, mean anomaly in, in radians. I mean, I've, this is in radians. So yeah, I do all of this stuff. It's actually pretty cool. Um, and it's not, I'm not necessarily going to have to convert all of it to BCLib because, uh, to the JavaScript, because I'm not going to use all of it. I'm just going to actually use the thing that gives me the ecliptic coordinates with a fair amount of accuracy because I do want to get this to be um, very, very tight in terms of, uh, in terms of JavaScript. Uh, so we can, because, the, because it's a fairly large map and we don't want, our positions have to be ideally pixel accurate. Um, also, at some point, I want to write a program that waits until a given comment. That's brilliant. A given command returns true or false. For example, the program, if you give it pgrep rsync, would continue to run until it saw that rsync uh, was running. And that, that has a very bizarre, uh, in a shell script sometimes, uh, if you do a lot of things at once, even if you use semicolons, sometimes things don't quite get set up correctly. So you can't wait for an rsync if it hasn't started yet. Um, it's, it's sort of hard to explain, but it's, it's like one of those weird things. So you could you put this command in front of it and say, wait till rsync, there is an rsync, and then wait for it to finish using bc wait pid id. Okay, um, so we also have the uh, very tight, very good osculating elements from vsop 2013. Um, I don't know if NASA releases osculating elements. They, they release positions, um, and you can get osculating elements from Horizons. And I guess technically you could do it from C-Spice, uh, but I don't know if they, I mean, they, you sort of have to convert into osculating elements. Um, so let's see. I think I'm tired of Sweden now. Okay, so the two things we kind of want to do today is uh, get the uh, big ecliptic map, or a small version of it and then the big version, into leaflet. Um, and I've already done that at one point, but the problem is everything I've done it with has had dimensions that are twice as wide as, as they are long, which is also how the uh, cylindrical map of the Earth would work. Uh, although I think, now that I think about it, um, Google's Mercator map and OpenStreetMap's Mercator map might actually be square because uh, you know each degree doesn't take up the same amount of space, um, and all of that might be academic because we're not going to be using um, a projection. We're going to be using the tiles uh, sort of natively. So I did do this somewhere, and um, fortunately, I think I have forgotten about it now. So uh, so I will have to remember where I put it. I think I made a note actually, but hang on. Um, uh, let's see. I am broadcasting, yay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Almost sure that I brought the, the I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's funny because I don't. Um, I might have mentioned it even in this. It should be in here if I did it. Um, nope, don't have it here. Um,. Oh, yes, okay, I know where I did it, and I probably should have mentioned this. I actually do this in the thing that I have posted to GitHub Pages, and I'll, I'll show you that in just a sec. Uh, God willing. Okay, where's Firefox gone? There, oh yeah, good. Always hide as much as possible. So we can move you up a little bit, we can move you up a teeny bit, and we can move you up. And uh, we can move you right there. Okay. So you will remember that I actually have a GitHub page uh, called Bad Map. All of these things are bad, of course, but Bad Map. And here I can overlay OSM, which is, this is not how OSM really looks. This is the OSM that I've converted uh, into, uh, into a cylindrical projection. Greenland is very tiny here. Uh, still bigger than its real size, but it's smaller than it would be on a Mercator map. And so that comes from somewhere else, time zones. Uh, comes from a shape file. Where the hell does time zones? Oh, it comes from uh, tiles. The grid comes from computed tiles, shiny. Climate, this actually comes from an image. And I think land use does too. Um, both of these come from fixed images, 
not from tiles. Oh, actually, they do come from tiled images, but the tiling, I think, is special, like me. No, um, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see. So, let me, so what I'm going to do here is, um, without changing anything, um, BC lib tester. Well, actually, it doesn't matter because this this is inside GitHub. Um, uh, let's see. The point here is maps land use map. Uh, I've already done a, sort of a little JavaScripty thing uh, that I'm going to put into Replit because I want I want people to be able to share it. Um, although, of course, this is already in Git, which takes an image, takes its width, height. Um, and can use the zoomed tiles, uh, um, but know about the width and height. Unfortunately, it does look like both of the images that I use this for, the width is exactly twice the height, um, which is groovy. Now, there's, there's actually... Um, the issue here is I'm pretty sure, and I guess we would have to log into DigitalOcean to do this, um, pretty sure that the uh, tile at level zero is not uh, is not a full tile. In other words, this is able to use understand that the tiles are not um, uh, powers of two. So now, how I do that? Um, uh, no, 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 redraw map. Redraw map, of course, is the big, uh, big, big function here. I think, or maybe not. Uh, place image tiles on map. That is the magic function that I should have in BC LibJS, but I'm almost sure I do not. So the place image tiles on map does. Hopefully it's here. There it is. Um, so, you know, this is just basically get it between max and min zoom. Uh, get bounds. Um... And the clever-ish thing that it does... Uh, wow, shiny. The clever thing it does is it actually um, overlays the tiles correctly, even if they're, even if one tile is between two... Per, you know, um, the tiles on the server may not be lined up with the tiles um, on Leaflet. So this is the magic that fixes that by allowing me to use like decimal tiles here because uh, it knows that something might be going beyond the correct number of tiles uh, that something may be fractionally tiled unfortunately in order to make any sort of sense out of this I probably need to pull some tiles uh, from my DigitalOcean server um, or see if I can find some here I actually might have tiles here uh, let's see. Um, give me one second to see if I can find this here. Because um, I think I did find this actually at one point, and it is in some some Git. Oh wow. Okay, it's in. It's right where we need it. Uh, BC Git BC Info three, which is my server. Um, sites. Um, Beck4, don't test, Beck4, and the interesting thing here, which maybe I did last time and I've forgotten now, is that this tile, the zero tile, does not fill up the screen, um, but it still works uh, because of the placed image tiles on map knows that it doesn't fill up the screen. Um, and this is the issue we're going to have with our uh, tiles for... And I'm, I, I'm pretty sure these are the tiles that are also on... I know they're on BC Info 3, um, but I get the feeling that they should also be the tiles that are on DigitalOcean, which is where this whole thing is pulling data from, uh, or wsterramapadventure.com, uh, which is the same thing. Um, okay, so the idea is we're going to create tiles that don't look like they line up 
but we're still going to be able to use them uh, thanks to um, math. No. Now, one thing I wanted to try... Uh, right now I'm getting these uh, tiles, as, as, as it says. Uh, the open street map is fine. Here, this is my DigitalOcean server. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is coming from test very quarter the info that's fine term map adventure term map adventure which is all fine and good except of course it's using up my space uh, not my space the uh, the today really what the hell am I doing um, is using up space um, on my server now let's make sure this is the uh, digital ocean server I'm, I'm sure it is actually okay and if we reverse that it should be just terra map adventure Or we, who is it? It's going to be DigitalOcean. And I really shouldn't have to do this each time, but I'm an idiot. Yep, there it is. Okay. Now the question is, can I put this onto GitHub Pages so I can save myself some uh, some bandwidth? Um, and basically, the, the, the general rule here is if someone offers you something for free, take it and screw them over. That is the general rule. Um, now I'm pretty sure these tiles, even if they're not accurate, they don't take up that much space. Um, that's not that much space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to r-sync the tiles, and this is again totally useless to anybody else. Uh, but we will be doing more useless stuff in a minute. Um, and try to r-sync them over to GitHub Pages and then push them. Because they're very small files, but there's a lot of the suckers. So, so this could be a very nice little uh, savings. Unfortunately, I'm not sure these are the latest versions of the tiles. So I do need to pull them over uh, from DigitalOcean using rsync. Um, and I'm, well, I don't know if I want to do it on a mounted drive. So let me go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and do the, like a preliminary bunch of this stuff. Pages. And I think, I think what I can do here is create images. And actually I'm gonna create images slash let's see what I'm calling this if it's calling climate should really be the name not Beck Beck is uh, the guy who did the climate map but um, but he's not the um, also I get sort of free HTTPS out of this um, because one and 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 I lose cross originness so if I do this I think the little tick mark no it doesn't see Parts of this page are not secure, and that is true, actually. Um, this should actually be able to tell me. Um, this, the the GitHub part is is actually fine. Um, the problem here is, well, it's not going to tell me what the problem. The problem here is the images that are being loaded are not um, are not uh, are not secure. Uh, and of course, if this works, we'll do it with land use as well. Um, so let me go ahead and do that real quickly. Um, and I'm on the other machine. You can't see what I'm doing. It's perfectly good. Oh, wow. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. Uh, images, climate. Oh, you know what? Actually, I could actually just rsync the directory so I don't even need to put climate here. Um, all right, our sinking over from Terra Map Adventure. Um, and what do I want from there? I want, I'm going to have to actually SSH in, hang on. Um, let's see, it's, it's something really ugly because it's on an external drive. All right, let's see if I can, I know you can't see what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, man. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, it's in root climate, but I'm pretty sure that's a sim link, so I don't know if that's going to work. And it's taking up 173 megabytes, which is not a lot, really, but... All right, so root climate, and I'm hoping this will work with, um, with sim links, which it should. Uh, oh, hang on, I had this... 
slash root slash climate and then no slash because I want it to create climate. And let's see what happens. It's going to ask me for a fuck. Um, have I disabled? Oh, you know what? I've probably disabled. Um, I have probably intelligently disabled password. So I'm going to have to do this using um, uh, private public keys, which is fine because I know how to do that. Because I actually have an alias. Um, in fact, you know what? We might be able to do this just just because I'm trying to make this a little bit nicer for you guys. Um, I have an alias that tells me how to do all this. This is what uh, does the normal syncage. Oh, do I have an... Oh, you know what? I may not have this key here, though. In fact... Okay. Again, this is not the ideal way to do this. Uh, but we will go ahead and do this. Um... Except here I just call it ID RSA, I'm pretty sure. Uh, not, because I mean, there's no ID dot VC. Um, SSH minus I, this is how we're going to connect. We might as well do minus P. Minus E means we're going to use a different SSH command than normal. Let's go ahead and do this. And this goes in the other direction. Um, so we need slash root slash climate no slash because we wanted to create the directory here and then dot and if this works I will be impressed okay hmm mm hmm okay that's not what's supposed to happen well, I can SSH in there just fine, so I mean, it's not broken. Uh, hang on. I'm going to check the security logs. See what happened. Invalid. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, in order to do this, because I'm, I'm just brilliant at this sort of stuff, I do have to connect as root. So that just makes things worse, but... Uh, yeah, that's the part. Okay, it's a sim link. Um, that was unexpected. It is a sim link, but it does exist. Hang on one second here. Okay, the only thing I can think of is it doesn't like the fact that I'm using a sim link, so it wants me to use the full path with it. It's actually not a bad idea. So let's go ahead and do that. Tiles slash client. Wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm in that directory. It definitely exists. Um, to here. Really? Operation not permitted. Wait, 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 wait. Wow. I'm going to do a su uh, shit. Okay, so the permission's on this side, actually. Uh, I don't know what the hell that's happening. But maybe it's because I have BC GitHub, BC Git Pages set to the wrong, and it's obviously what it is. Um, images. Permissions look fine. Oh, fudge. Uh, Pomodoro time, back in two and two.
and we are almost back. And we are still almost back. And now we're back. Okay, so the problem is when I did that, it actually created a symbolic link called climate, which I'm pretty sure I can't remove from... Uh, don't you love that? It's because uh, it's a symbolic link, it's being weird. So I'll go ahead and remove the symbolic link that was accidentally created when I did it incorrectly. And now, God willing, this will work. And again, it is inefficient because I'm using... Um, I, I'm on a machine that's where the thing... I'm hoping to talk through this all happening. Um, I'm on a machine where uh, the, the disk drive is actually mounted on another machine. It's a VM. It's mounted on the real machine. It's kind of weird. Um, so it's a little bit slower because we're accessing that other machine through SSHFS, which is totally unnecessary, uh, and there really probably should be a better way of doing it, but that's how it's going for right now. Um, so I didn't quite get through doing that, and I want to see if I can... Uh, the, the, the issue isn't actually going to be uh, the rsync here. That's going to be the easy part. The issue is going to be whether to see if BC GitHub Pages complains about all of this. Um, uh, GitHub Pages complains about all this. Um, when I push it or try to push it. Push it. Push it real good. And I guess while this is happening, I might as well change the... Um, uh, let me see if my BC GitHub Pages is... Um, up to date. Um, I know I have a I have an alias for it, but I don't remember what it was. Oh yeah. Uh, no, that's not for pages. Hang on. Oh, BC get pages. Um, kinda wish I had. Um, let me see if it's already pushed. The problem is I, I probably should have done this all before uh, adding a bajillion files. Eh, okay, hang on one sec here. Uh, also, it turns out I put them in the wrong directory, but that's an easy fix. Um... Let me go ahead and push it the way it is now, with a really minor change, which isn't even to BC Lib Tester. But now that it's up to date, we can put this. Unfortunately, my, my page is headed at the wrong point, but that's we can still. It's not a big deal. So here we can say the tile URL is now going to be, and this is now saved. So nice and safe in Git. And it's going to be. Not quite this. Pages slash. Cl oh, yeah, and then the rest of it's going to be just the same. Uh, like this. It's not going to work, obviously, but you know. Anytime you can screw someone over, it's worth a little bit of extra effort. So now, when I, uh, when I get these images files over here, which is done, that is awesome. Unfortunately, they're in the wrong place because it turns out um, my, my, m the root of my git is not here where it should be. It's under pages, so um, this is where all the crap is. If, do I have? An, I don't have an image this year, so I could very quickly just do this. Oh yeah, and now all I need to do is push it to GitHub Pages and watch it, and hopefully not complain. And this might this might take a while. There's a few thousand images here. Um, in fact, how many are there? Roughly speaking, there are 38. Well, over 38,000 images here. Some of these are KML files, which I we don't need. I'm just, but you know, they were there, so well, why not? Uh, adding lots of images, and we did also modify BC Lib Tester. So let's see what happens when we do this. Um, let's see what's going on. Auto packing the repository for optimum performance, compressing objects. This is still happening locally. You know, you can't see what I'm doing. Um, and now it's writing objects, so this might actually take a while, because it's going to do that locally as well. If this works, we'll go ahead and do land use as well. Save me some space on my DigitalOcean machine. 
and and abuse a public resource. That that is the most important part is abusing a public resource. Uh, and then we're going to try. Um, I guess we yeah we'll create these on DigitalOcean. Why the hell not? Oh, sorry on um, GitHub Pages. Why the fuck not? Um, the the images of uh, the tiled images uh, for the ecliptic map. We're going to be a little bit careful there because they're not automatically numbered uh, the way uh, the way the other images are. Uh, because we're not building from small images up. We're building from a big image down, which which is materially different. Um, a little bit of extra ugliness is we're going to actually have to run it with a test image first, which is smaller, but that'll let us make sure everything's working. Um, and then we can run it with a uh, with a, a bigger uh, image, uh, the the full size image. So this will be, we get to waste quite a bit of space. I don't know if they have a space limit, but um, okay, we're still it's still locally doing stuff, but it's ninety five percent done, ninety eight percent done. Now it's going to try to send it over to um, I keep saying DigitalOcean, of course I mean GitHub. Whoa. That can't have been done that quickly. All right, maybe that maybe it did, was writing to GitHub pages. Now again, GitHub pages doesn't update right away, so we actually have to be, um, let's actually do this. Let's go to GitHub, go to my repo. Uh, let's go to nope. Let's go to my. This is a different um, repo. That's my handsome face. Here we go. This will tell us what the status is of um, of recreating the website. It should be doing that. Um, well, I mean, it looks like I, I don't really want to look at a huge directory, but actually, I think maybe it'll it'll truncate the directory. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot. These images are very deeply uh, nested, so um, so this is fine. Now the question is: There's some place you can actually look. Uh, okay, <laughs> good stuff. Is it's not actually any hidden anymore. Um, let's see. There's some place we can actually look. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just hoping it's happened. Um, and the way to tell is to look to see what the uh, the because this is view source, and the info map has to stay on because it, it's a Perl script. Climate map. Okay, if if this works, we're in good shape. It won't. Gorgeous, doesn't work. Let's see why. Um, I'm not trying to load all the images at once. That would be terrible. Now I taught. Oh, is it Shift Alt K that gets me the JavaScript? Nope. Tools, Web Developer, Web Console, Control Shift K. Never quite get there. Um. So I, I get the feeling this is just a matter of time, actually, unless they, they're just pissed at me for uploading 30,000 images. Um, GitHub status should be fine. Uh, I don't want to read the full documentation. I want to know where I can go quickly and look at my GitHub pages. Um... Uh, creating a repository, that I understand. Uh, okay. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Initialize this repository with the website. Oh! Okay, so it is apparently somewhere in here. Nope, not here. Uh, God damn it, I really need to use the. Um, here! Uh, and see what the GitHub Pages shit is like here. So this this is going to be a oh, website. Okay, hang on. Let's move this a little bit to the left. Or I don't want to cancel. I don't want to save either. I want to know the status. Will it tell me that though? 
Um, settings? Maybe. Okay, hang on, hang on. that's good, that's good. Uh, pages? Ooh. Okay. Let's see, I think maybe somewhere over here. Manage access, menu, 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 actions. Notifications, information, deploy key, manage access. That does not really tell me what I need to know. Um, hmm. So it knows that it's it's in a BC get pages kind of thing. Unless this has nothing to do with anything. Um go back to these instructions here. Um, no, 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 no. Um, okay, settings. Okay, settings. And then very magically we will see it Oh, 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 hang on. Oh, oh, it's way down here, that's why. Uh, your site is published at... Okay. So maybe it, during the time that it... Took... For me to say all this bullshit, some, it works. I don't think that's actually going to be true. But, you know, you never know. Let's do a shift reload. Climb it. And it could just be a matter of time. And it could just be that... Okay, there's a broken image. There's more of a broken image. Well, your mama. Okay. Control-Shift-K. Um, let's do a shift-reload, see what happens. No. Okay. Let's look at 310 as our sort of... Um, Let's just see if this, unless it's just really unhappy about me trying to store images or something. All right, let's just make sure it's actually here. That's so going to be pages, images, climate. Wait, do I have this wrong? Yikes! Never mind. Yeah, I have this wrong. Let's try that one more time. I'll go ahead and put the pages, push the pages. Um, fixing path. I'm actually going to use a, um, a useful comment this time. Okay, and now if I reload over here, it should tell me that it, the, um, nothing. It's in the wrong place again. It'll, it should tell me that it's, that it's pushing, um, but it's not quite ready yet. Because it does that when, you know, you have, um, ready to be published yep. being built See, this is exactly what we're looking for um, it takes a little bit of time to build it but if you build it they will come and if if they come they should probably clean it up because mm -hmm. all right uh, ready to be published so it, it's being built so this is the uh, this is the uh, exciting part not not really um, We'll do a shift reload here. It's probably not ready yet, but um, wait. Oh, it, it, this is the wrong. Yeah, this hasn't it, this hasn't updated yet, so we 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 can't use it. Um, and I'm going to be really impatient here. So this is going to be pages, images, climate, which I think is what this is now. Yeah. So it'll just take a little bit of time before it gets that ready to go. Um, if that works, we'll do it with land use. We cannot... We can probably do it with time zones, too. OSM, obviously, we don't want to copy over the whole freaking... I don't think they'll let us do that. 
kind of tempted now. <laughs> uh, but no, OSM is going to be too big. We will, however, do the time zones and the land use, same way we did this. Um, assuming it works. So this is not where I want to be. Reload. At some point, this will go. There we go. It's all green now. It's all green, man. All right. Now, if we do this, it still won't work. Oh, fuck. It worked. And we have gotten rid of our little non-security warning there. And now, if I put in land use, it'll break, because land use is still hosted someplace insecure. God damn, this is nice. And yeah, there we go. All right, and time zones, I'm pretty sure, are tiles. Um, I mean, they're from an SHP file, but I'm pretty sure that they're... Well, there's one way to check, actually. If you zoom in far enough, the time zone files will not be... Uh, will be pixelated. In very, very tiny pixelation, but still will exist. And because I don't have it set to full opacity, they look weird. But... Yeah, it still doesn't look like it's that they're really um they're really pixelated, but but I'm pretty sure they are. Um, so this time, because we kind of know the drill, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, let's see. I, I was about to say I'm gonna do this uh, in a less stupid way, but <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna do it in the stupid way here. In fact, let me see what I do have here. Let me see what I've got. On the DigitalOcean server, I have... Fuck. I have bugger all. Okay, I've got climate. I've got to say the word ma 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 as much as possible. Ah! Um, okay. Oh, tiles. Okay, yeah. Let's go into tiles. And then under tiles I have uh, climate, land use, time. I have maps. I don't know what the hell that does, so I don't want to... Oh, okay, that's just not doing anything right now. API, which also is doing nothing at the moment. Um, let me make sure land use and time zones are both what I want them to be, but I'm pretty sure they are. And they are. Okay, so let's r-sync those bitches. Um, we can do both at once, actually, but... And we want them inside of images, just like climate was. So let's do this. Uh, okay, I apparently I don't need to have in... Why? That should probably worry me, but anyway. Um, oh, these are level 10 tiles, so it's going to take me even more. Uh, there's 1,024 of them. Uh, uh, no, sorry. There's 1,024 rows and 1,024 columns. The, the motherfucker, do I actually have a million images in here? Hang on. What kind of crazy bullshit am I doing? All right, I'm counting the number of files on the server. Um... Oh, only 685,488, which kind of makes me curious as to why. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that was, that was, which one are we doing? Land use, level 10? Interesting. Yeah, why, why the hell don't we have 1,024 of these suckers? I mean, not that I want that many, but... Um, for some reason, we don't. I guess maybe it doesn't go all the way. All right, Pomodoro time. I'll be back in two and two, and you can watch this lovely scrolling.
ourselves back. And we're back. Now this looks like after it reaches a... Oh, actually it doesn't. It looks like there's only a thousand left, but that's because... Wow. This might have been a really bad decision. If I can cut and paste from here... I can't, I can't cut and paste from my original machine to here, which is intentional. Okay. Maybe not the best idea. Um, okay, definitely not the best idea. We're going to stop this. We're going to stop this insanity. And... Um, the problem is I don't want to accidentally miscopy the command because it's very, very delicate as we found out earlier. So let me go ahead and put this here. And then I can copy it from my other machine because I do have that file here on both machines. Well, it's actually the same file. Um, but, you know, whatever. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and go over here. Um, uh, images... And part, part of it's already done, so I mean, this would be sort of a, it should just be a fill-in. Um, I think? You can't see what I'm doing, so, oh, actually you can, maybe. Because changes there are reflected here. Because this is a, I have it named a little bit differently on the other machine. It's not a huge deal, but. Okay, let's see what happens. Receiving incremental file list. Uh, you can't see what I'm doing. I know. I'm aware of this. Also, uh, I just realized that pulling uh, files from my local machine um, probably isn't great for the stream. But also, I don't care. Okay, so now this is coming down on my other machine, which is a little bit... It's not, it's not that much faster, actually. Uh, but it is a little bit faster, and, um, and so we can... Uh, I'm also going to put a weight on it, so... When it's done, I can do the next one without uh, bothering, bothering you guys, so to speak. Oh, shit. How many R-Syncs do I have going? Uh, lots. Stand by. Oh, yeah. R-Sync sometimes starts up uh, multiple processes, which is fine. Okay, well, what the hell is this? Oh, time zones. And the grid. Be gone, time zones. Um, yeah. Again, the cylindrical thing did not go well at all. Okay, so now while this magic is happening, um, do we want to convert BC Astrolib to JS? Uh, with little assist from um, the data that uh, VSOP 2013 gives us to compute uh, various uh, phenomena. Phenomena. That phenomena. Okay, no. Uh, there is actually other VSOP files that give you even more data, which we can also convert because it's fun. In fact, I think I already have a program that tries to convert uh, VSOP to, ma to Mathematica, which could very, very easily be done to, um, to Maxima. In fact, we might just actually end up doing that for fun. Um... And this does VSOP 87, but that's not a huge deal at all. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, I do have the VSOP 2013 files, and I think they are in... You've got to be fucking kidding me. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I moved them all to no backup. That would be the correct place for them, not home very hard or spicy. Unless I've screwed this up and there actually is. That would be really stupid. But not beyond me. Okay. Yeah. So let me see if we can find the VSOP 87 kernels. And uh, we're not going to change this file, but we'll create a new one. Okay. And my... Okay. So 
It's going to be vsop 87.ven and it might be I might have I might have bzipped it. Um, uh, oh wow, I don't have the B vsop uh, 87 data anymore. Uh, got deleted. I mean, I could probably bring it back, but but let's see what I do have. I because I'm you know. Um, Okay, do I have it someplace special? I might. Because uh, I just recently downloaded it. Yep, it's in a directory called... Well, that's not a... It's called VSOP. And in fact, I think I just uh, copied the structure that they had from where I copied it. So let me go ahead and link that in to what we're doing. Um, okay, now we can look at it by going over here. And again, this is because it's the same structure. Oh, and top 2013, I think, is for the outer planets, but the solution is... Yeah, this is actually data of... maybe. Hang on. I'm pretty sure this is just data how they computed it using the... Wait, maybe I'm wrong. Because that actually does look like the solution. So what does Ephraimides mean? I mean, I know what it means, but what does it mean here? Oh, wow. Okay. And I'm pretty sure this is uh, a lot longer. So this is just stuff they computed, apparently. What the hell is this? Motherfucker. I should probably look at a readme file or something. Uh, actually, let me do that. Um... This is these files are probably going to be too big for us to. Um, oh, good! It's a PDF. I always make it as difficult as possible to read. Um, oh, these are the Cheb these, They're trying to do what NASA does and release these as Chebyshev files. Um, wow! Very much like what NASA does. Okay, but let's see. These files are way too big to try to even convert. Unfortunately, I get the feeling these files might be too big, too. That's 31 fucking megabytes. Alright, so this is... Well, actually, hang on. This is 32 megabytes, but I don't know how much of this data is actually being used. Um, maybe not too much. Alright. So let me go ahead and convert... Let me go ahead and write this as is to this. Um, version B sub to be. Oh wow! Did I not name it B B C? Did I actually not name it the? Um, because everything must have my name on it. Um. Let me, before Git even thinks about picking it up, uh, get rid of the um, the hideous attempt to... Um, okay. Starts as a copy of BC VSOP to math, but now for Maxima. It's not going to work, obviously, but you know. Um... Kind of curious what this will do with. Um, let's see. These files are probably small enough to um, to be read in directly. So we'll say my all f name equals um, read file command file, which is the special thing I've created so that you, know, you can get all your data. Um, hang on one second here. Let's see. Maxima. Yep. Right. And now it's just basically going to ask me for uh, a file. And. Oh, come on. I don't know why I skip over Mercury. So I want to see what this actually does right. Nothing. It does nothing right now. It's very, very nice. 
Let's see what it is if I turn on some debugging options. I, li I like this program. It does nothing at all. It does nothing at all. Okay. And uh, let's see. Let me make sure it's actually reading the file. Because I might have screwed that up. Nope, it is. Oh, you know what? Maybe I have hard coded in here VSOP 87. Um, nope, I do not. Okay, so maybe the format's different, which is going to bug me. Uh, let's see. Like that? Wait a minute. Something's wrong. Something is not quite right. variable X, Y, and Z's, dude. Um, hang on. Let's see what the hell they've got. Variable A, variable A, variable... These are different powers of, of, of T. Variable L. K. H. Q. Good shit. I don't know what the hell they mean. P. I could have also, of course, just done... And these are just the powers of uh, A, L, K, H, Q, P. Uh, at this point, I kind of want to download VSOP 87 because I'm pretty sure um, it's not stupid. They do much more useful things. So hang on one second while I try to figure out where the hell... Um, I, I, I'm going to have to download it, I think. But... Hang on one second here. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like all of my copies are gone, which is actually kind of what I expected. Uh, so I'm going to have to download it from the internet. Let's go ahead and look for it here, but we might want to actually do the download um, somewhere else. Because um, they, do, they do have copies of the older ones still. The one that makes fucking sense. Cough, cough, cough. Actually, I should have said download, because a lot of these links talk about it, but... Uh, oh, shiny. There's probably other versions, too. Uh, well, that's not I'm assuming these sites are valid. They, they could just be evil. I'm also assuming Google's going to actually redirect me correctly at some point. But you never know. little bit disconcerting that I'm not getting connections to two different sites. We did have an outage earlier today, but it kind of looks fine now. Unless it doesn't. Okay, not cool. Um, let me see if I can hang... Oh, you know what? It might be the insanely massive <laughs> R-Sync that I'm doing. Uh, which is still working, so we're, our internet connectivity is good. Um, come on, man. Daddy needs some loving. Let's see if we can at least get the time out. This is very strange. Did this thing somehow lose its... The weird thing is you can actually see this because I'm actually streaming it on my um, my real machine. But for some reason, this thing is now having trouble. That's just like magic. They didn't change anything. 
Let's see if there's anything that got changed here that might have a... Uh, not really. Um, why would the internet suddenly break for this machine? Aside from the fact that it hates me. Alright, let's take a look here real quick. Uh, let's see if we can ping the router. Standard procedure. Router is happy. Um, let's see if... Um, this command should not be available to unprivileged users, but it is. I have an IP address, which I do. Um... The only thing you can think of is the router doesn't think of this as being a registered um, client, so it's not going to pass traffic for it, um, which which is strange. Uh, but let's see what's going on here. Okay. Now, this might fix it, this might break it. We may win and we may lose, but we will never be here again. Is a part of the... Uh, it's actually by Travis Tritt, and I... Eagles version is the one I know, uh, which is Take It Easy is the name of the song. Uh, so this is a very strange looking error that, yep, everything is gone now. But um, I can't see chat anymore, just FYI. But I can still freaking talk because I'm broadcasting from a different machine. It's so weird, man. Let me try this real quick. Um, let's see if we have DH client. Do we have DHCP... Um, let's see if we can do this. Okay. This should have fixed it because now the router knows that it exists. There we go. I probably shouldn't be revealing this, but I have revealed my IP address, so it doesn't matter. Um, okay. Back to reality. Uh, 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 uh. Let's just load all three of them to be fun. What time is it, Mr. Governor? Government person? Uh, yeah, we're pretty much in sync. Uh, Pomodoro time. <laughs> Back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we're still almost back because I wanted to look at something. Now we're back. Um, by the way, the R-Sync for land use has finished. Just FYI. Um, let's see what I'm going to do next here. Time zones is the last one. And again, this is going to take some time. Uh, let's just make sure it gets started correctly. It's started. Only six levels here, so this might actually go a little bit faster. 
Um, and then, of course, I need to change the DC lib tester. Okay, hopefully this didn't didn't break it. I think this, now that it knows uh, that it's um, ooh, let's see where the hell is Vsop? Not cool. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, wow. That was damn quick. Okay. So we've got the time zones loaded. We've got all this crap loaded. Let's go ahead and change VC Lib Tester, which is a stupid name for a, for a production program. Um, I'm going to get rid of this, then I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to change it. Because that's how we roll. Uh, let's see. There is something to be said for not copying everything, but okay, we're gonna we don't need the climate part though. Images slash and then just this. Okay. And then T Z map is also now this is all gonna when it gets pushed, obviously. And it's going to take some time because there's a tremendous amount of crap uh, being pushed. The, the images are all being pushed. Images by Tyrone Green. Uh, which, by the way, is a pet peeve of mine. Uh, there was a Dick Cavett parody uh, where they invited Tyrone Green out, uh, on the show. And they said the title of his poem was Kill My Landlord, but it's not. The title is Images. Kill My Landlord is the first line. Um... Okay, that's a very petty thing I know to be to be unhappy about, but that's how I roll. Okay, da -da 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 -da. all right. Now I'm going to do a mass push from the other side, which is going to push. Uh, God damn it, a lot of shit. I'm just kind of curious, actually, uh, uh, how much shit it's going to be pushing. I like pushing limits. I like pushing people. I like pushing shit. I want to give birth so I can push it push it good. Uh, I do not actually want to give um, birth. Uh, this I probably should have done... Okay. Nope. It just freaking... Good thing I'm in screen, so I can just do this. I'm pretty sure that all of that doesn't isn't actually hurting the network connectivity. It's just... Yeah. It's just being weird. Uh, so the BC get pages push is still thinking about it, which is not surprising. Um, let's see how many fucking files this git thing can really handle, although I'm, I'm guessing it can handle a lot. Um, so while that's happening, we will figure out why the hell this doesn't do what I want. Um, the main version... Oh, okay, okay, hang on. Um... is not super cool. But if maybe it's the same data I had as before. If it, if it is, we can... Um, I mean, it's going to be the same. Aha! This is the bullshit I was talking about. Um, I don't want to tap. Okay. Uh, Git, by the way, still thinking about it. So that might take... Okay, here we go. This, these are the files I remember. Um, and I actually did not realize that they were not the original files. I was under the impression that the these were the things you were actually supposed to use, but apparently not. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wget minus r this, but I'm not going to do it from here. Uh, wget minus m, rather. Uh, but I'm not going to do it from here, because, well, um, it would take forever. However, let's go over here. No backup. Vsop. 
Okay, yeah, so W get minus M. This will really slow down the connection just in case it isn't slow enough already. Let me go ahead and put this into the README stream so I can get to it easier. So quite, quite a heavy waste of your time. Uh, and do I want to, I do want, no, I don't need the slash in front of that. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. And I'll just background this. Oh, now if they have a robots.txt file, but they won't because this is FTP and they don't normally do that. Okay, so the bullshit's being downloaded now. Uh, and we can watch it being downloaded because... Um, and by the way, um, you might notice that these are both .fr, meaning from France. Um, you get double points when you uh, screw people from France over, just, just FYI. A minimum of double, depending on the promotion that they're running. So here come the VSOPs. Let's read the README file, which, but I think, I think this is what we're looking for. Rectangular and spherical. Uh, okay, so I guess I'm kind of annoyed to learn that um, that these things are not were not meant to be used as positions. That just sort of a, 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 th a throwaway output that they have. Um, meanwhile, Git is still hanging on on the other machine. This is this is fantastic. Um, One thing I've always been curious about, and it, I'm just going to waste your time with it. Um, Indiana has a very terrible history of time zone changes. Um, not 2020, before that. Um, that's what we're looking for, and it's really, really ugly. Um... Oh god, no, no, we don't want video. God damn it, don't, don't scroll video on video. Fuck me. What the hell? I definitely did not click on UNM. Which, which is here, by the way. Um, oh, that might be it. I might have clicked an article of a mistake. Um, yeah, 1883 we had some, then we went, we went to, uh, we went to, uh, time zones. Um, 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 what the hell? These are some weird ads. Um, Uh, oh, <laughs> so this is, this is pretty bad, but I, I was actually talking about more recently than this. Um, double fast time. Um, Yeah, this is this is where they got into some trouble here because um, the state itself is already divided between two time zones. Indiana has two time zones already. Um, let's see, Eastern. God damn it! Oh my god! Okay. Um. God damn it. Okay, I don't know if I want to read the rest of this. Uh, but bad things happen. Oh, there's there's more to this. Um. 
they, they've had more issues after 2005, I'm pretty sure. They finally did decide to go all on, uh, all daylight time. They no longer switch, so. They, they're, they're, oh, but they're in two different time zones, but they're always on daylight time. In fact, the only portions of the U.S. not on daylight time, at m most of Arizona except the, n uh, the uh, Native American territories, um, Hawaii apparently does not... Uh, I need to figure out what the hell tomorrow is. It's one of ours, but... Um, okay. All right, let's see if anything... In oh, there we go. Uh, Emacs is giving me the warning. File commit edit message is really large. Is large. 30.1 megabytes. Really open? Sure, why not? Um, and for those of you who are curious, we are adding approximately... Uh, 729,000 images uh, pushing those to get. So, fuck you. Let's... <laughs> fuck you, GitHub. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, and the wget, by the way, is complete, so we can now use the, um, the files that we downloaded. Um, and they should all be here. Okay. Now the question is, do I want to use their full? Oh, it doesn't matter because I'm using um, I'm using read file, so that's fine. Uh, so let's go back to uh, VSOP to Maxima. The only change here is that uh, you read the file from the command line instead of it's not hard coded. So let's see what the fuck happens here. I'm not I'm not very. Oh, there is no. I don't do it that way here. Okay, VSOP, CD. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Uh, I guess we'll just do Venus, because that's when I... Okay. That. VAR1 T. Yep. And I decided to go full hog, because Mathematica, and Maxima, actually, uh, will preserve fractions like this. Um... So really, the only change I need here is very, very minimal. I mean, it, it won't work, but but if it did, it would be very, very minimal. This is about yeah, about 270. This is not too bad. This could fit into JavaScript. It's a little bit long, but tolerable. And let me make sure the file that I'm looking at, um, the Venus file is the one that has X, Y, and Z, because that's what I'm really looking for. Variable 1... Heliocentric, dynamical, eclipsed, and equina. Why are there f several variables here? Not cool. How the hell does it do that? I mean, what does that even mean? Okay. Okie dokie, this is not looking good. Um, I mean, it can't be all of those, but I mean, it's... Oh, man. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, this is just the raw one. So, I'm going to do a less on this. Um... There's actually uh, four other ones. Um, several other ones. One is VSOP A. This is going to be the one that uh, has something different. XYZ. There we go. And this is heliocentric, dynamical, ecliptic, and equinox. What we actually need is fixed uh, ecliptic. J2000 ecliptic. Um, and equinox of J2000. Uh, not dynamical. So I think that was B, maybe. Uh, Here are dynamical ecliptic and equinox day 2000. One moment. How are those <laughs> different? Okay. Oh, this is liberation. Okay, okay, okay. Heliocentric. They're all dynamical ecliptic, so I don't know if I can really use that. Um, so unfortunately, this brings in a very ugly question of, um, uh, 
if we do use VSOP um, 2013, I was under the impression we could just use this. Um, so these are just the, uh, the very basic mean elements. Um, I don't know. Oh, secular. Secular here means with a zero. With they don't oscillate. Oscu oscillate. They don't oscillate with the cosine wave. So in reality, this is not what we need. We need these much bigger fucking files that are fucking pains in the ass. So we really need to basically. Um, let me make this a little bit easier to read here. Okay, um, yeah, so this is really a hideous, hideous formula for Venus's semi-major axis. Presumably very accurate, but hideous. Uh, we're going to pull a little bit of a trick here. Uh, I don't know if Google's going to let me do this, but if you search for this, we might be able to see what other things this number appears in. Because I don't think this would even appear in orb.js, although we'll, we'll look. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do I have orb.js here? I mean, I shouldn't. Let me quickly see where I have orb.js. Oh, I might have it here. Right. There we are. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh. Nope. Apparently, he does load VSOP eighty-seven A. I don't know if he has it here, but. Pomodoro time, back in two and two.
And we are almost back. And we are back. I'm going to check quickly on that git status there. God help us. Uh, auto packing repository 187,861 objects. Have to get pushed, I guess. Um, so it does, um, 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 I like saying um. Uh, so it does look like uh, the data that we, uh, there's no real shortcut here uh, to getting the planet's right ascension and declination. Um, I thought there was because we could use the secular data, but the secular data is not going to be accurate. Um, so we now are left with a same thing we did for the sun. Da -da -da -da. Which I hope to hell we have here somewhere because it's going to be really embarrassing if I don't. Um, I do have that from there, but from somewhere else I think I actually created a whole fucking function for this. Um, not, not here, obviously. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. Where the hell is this? Why the hell do I have an MX? God damn it. Really? I'm fucking weird. Um, let's see. Uh, this, this could be very, very bad. Because I know I've done this. Um... And I can't find it. Uh, let's go to Replit real quick. This is where I where I did this, which is where I created a whole fucking function to not only um, not only compute the position of the sun, but to use it to actually figure out how to not only okay. I'll stop babbling incoherently and just try to find it. Okay. This sounds like it, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Because heliacal means of or relating to the sun, so it would be a really clever name. Um, but I would be surprised if I hadn't downloaded somewhere also. Uh, and I wouldn't have been BC get pages. And have I lost my internet connection again? You've got to be fucking kidding me. What the hell is wrong with this thing? It might be that I've set up, turned off something that I shouldn't have turned off. Uh, that one's failed. Oh, I want to see the uh, inactive units as well. Let's see. Bring up, down, network manager. Okay, so maybe we actually need the network manager. But for right now, we're going to get the bloody th fucking thing to work, whether it wants to or not. Okay. Oh, because I've got another interface that I should probably take down, because that's the virtual interface. Um, that doesn't actually need to be up. Oh my god. No, you don't need a fucking IP address. We're not using you that way. Okay, now watch me break this. Verb ER0 down. Verb ER0 nick down. And now we should still have internet connectivity. Oh, fuck. Come on, man. I s marked them down. You shouldn't try to keep getting IP addresses for them. Can I delete them? I should be able to. Okay. That did not work anyway. I'm just going to let this run by itself. I'm not going to even 
control C out of it. Uh, let's just make sure we still have connectivity though. Motherfucker. Okay. Alright. Maybe I'd better bring the network manager back up. Um. Okay, now it works without DH client. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Um, but anyway, let's continue our lovely journey. Okay, let's do this one more time here. Reload with the internet up this time. Maybe. We don't really know. Because apparently it dies every 10 seconds. Uh, but not, not in real life. Comcast is doing fine. This is... Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you want your network manager so bad. Whoa. That instantly worked. Okay, well, I'll make a note here. Um... Uh, to, to not... I killed a lot of stuff, as you may, may have remembered, or may not. I don't remember if I streamed it. Um, because I wanted a minimal image that I could freeze and bring back up, but, but clearly, uh, killing Network Manager was a, was a mistake. Okay, so let's take a look at this shit here. Uh, BC Lunar Interp, which this is going to be a huge file. If I don't have this locally, I'm going to be pissed. Let me check to see if I do have it locally. Okay, uh... Motherfucker. I do have it. And it is an insane... Oh... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. It's actually for my for my Sun app, not my S O N, but my S U N Sun app. So it's actually in BC Git Pages, Heliacol, and um, oh my God! Oh yeah, yeah, I remember this now. Um. Oh, I never answered the question. I started answering and just kind of gave up. Um, so the the looter, the, the interpolation here is um, is the one Mathematica creates, um, and it goes from. The problem is, of course, it takes up a lot of space and only goes from 2015 to I'm almost sure it's going to be 2025. That's how I roll. Yeah. Um, am I on Posixly correct time? Hmm. Strange. Um, does that really... Sh oh, actually, maybe... No, never mind. Never mind. I'm just babbling. Okay, and the sun the sun is much nicer for us in terms of its... Uh, in terms of its right ascension and its... Uh, declination. I'm not even sure this is actually a right ascension and declination. This is, I think, Julian. Well, actually, I mean, let's just see how we. Um, so, if this copy of BC Lib contains stuff. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This version better contain interpolation. Okay, fuck that. So how do I do it? Did I actually put it like inside of the fucking file? I said ninety-nine percent. Why isn't it? Oh, because it does. It's having trouble understanding where ninety-nine percent is. Okay. Where the hell do I use it? 
nice. Oh, actually, I may be loading in HTML. Yeah. So where the hell do I actually interpret this file? Um, oh, actually, let's see what variable does this file define. And why does it have my name on it? Oh, does it actually? Yeah, it does. Lunar deck interp. Oh, there's two of them. One for declination, one for uh, right ascension. Um, that would be useful if we could use it somewhere other than where you fucking define it. Oh, do I not actually use that one? Because this is the heliacal one? Uh, here we are. Um... Really? X to Y. What the hell does that mean? Oh. Okay, hang on. X to Y. So that's a function. Okay, okay. So that's a function that takes one of these interpret interp yo mama interpolation objects and returns uh, the uh, data. So, where the hell have I written this? Hopefully, it is once again inside of here. If it's not, it's not doing... Or, or in the staging one, that's fine too. Um, yes! That took forever. Okay, so this is where it computes from the interpolation of the data that it needs. And I think we go as far as... Um, yeah, we actually go as far as doing cubic spine interpolation, which might be overkill. Um, although it doesn't really matter because we only do it once per request. Okay, stand by while I check on the GitHub thing. Still going. Um, at this point, we should be able to go to the... Uh, to where the hell I keep it? And use the... No, I'm sorry, we can't because it hasn't been pushed yet. It's still being pushed. Okay, never mind. Alright, so now the question is... Um, can we do these right ascension and declination interpolations... Wow. For the other planets in a way that's accurate enough... Um, for a 65... For a 200 and... Whatever the hell... However the hell big this image was that I was going to make, that I made. Um, yeah, 262,144 pixel wide, which would mean um, each pixel, oh, god damn it, is under 5 arc seconds, which means we want an accuracy of 2.5 arc seconds. Motherfucker, I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, the answer is probably yes, because if you make your interpolation tight enough, you can, you can do as little as you want. But is it going to be a pain in the ass? Absolutely. Can we do it with Maxima just for fun? Beats the fuck out of me. Let's see if we have interpolation objects here. We might be able to define our own, though. Interpo... Yeah! Interpolation package! Um... Lagrangian linear and cubic... Lagrangian might be... I don't know what that means, though. I do, actually, though. Computes the polynomial... Um, okay. Rational interpolation? What is rat interpol? Sounds like a police organization for mice. Or rats, I guess. Um... And the question with all of these things is always going to be um, how good it is at the non-interpolated points. Um, oh my god. Okay. 
So apparently you can make the numerical degree a little bit lower than the uh, number of points you have. Um, okay. Fun, fun. Let's create a little window for Maxima. So give me an interpolation of... This is very trivial, obviously. Uh, this is actually x plus 1, by the way. <laughs> Let's see what this does. How about we load the interpolation first? Um, Interpol. It's a police organization. Oh, because I'm not doing this right. I should be doing R maxima. I'm losing my freaking mind. Actually, Interpol might be built into R maxima. Let's find out. Nope. So close. I won't go ahead and do that. I'm okay with it. Okay, there might be another argument that I need here. In fact, I think I'm doing this wrong. Hang on. I think Interpol... Why is rat... Oh, these are actually kind of next to each other. Uh, characteristic function? That just kind of comes in the middle of, of everything. Lagrange... Um... Okay, can just be points. So we're going to Lagrange this guy. That simplifies to x plus 1. Or no, it doesn't, apparently. It does. It's weird. Okay. Um, let's use a larger data set. Uh, and sort of the obvious one to use here. More people are dying than ever before. Uh, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. I kind of wonder if I should record these in addition to streaming, even though, ooh, uh, even though um, Twitch, presume, assuming the connection's okay, it, it does record this by itself. So we're going to go ahead and go back to um, our favorite topic. Um... COVID-19. And I'm, this is actually not going to be um, 
up to date, but that's okay because we're not using it for that reason. Uh, and actually, let's go ahead and bclib.mac, which I also need to. Uh... Oh, we already do it. I don't know why though. Do I use Interpol here somewhere? Maybe. I think maybe I, I loaded it and I did decided I didn't need it, but kept it anyway. Because that's how I do things. Okay. Just a little bit of time here. This is not up to date. But, you know, people die, people live, who cares? Uh, let's see what the Lagrange function, I think, unfortunately, is going to be a very high degree polynomial. Um, that's fun. Let me take the uh, floating point version of that, which is still going to be pretty damn big. Okay. Um, I think expand will do what I want. I want it basically in terms of powers of x. There we go. Um, so they put the higher powers first, but it's, it's a very difficult to compute thing. Not something that would be practical. Um, characteristic of okay. okay. Linear interpolation, um, which is trivial. Um, Oh shit. No, no, I just want this to be the argument. Yeah, and here it just uses basically linear, very basic uh, linear um, interpolation. So. And by using the characteristic function, it, it there's nothing interesting about this. Okay, so the cubic spline actually might be uh, might be something useful. Um, now, unfortunately, I'm going to get the feeling that it's going to break the cubic spline into as many parts as we have days. It's not going to... Motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, and again, each... The characteristic function is the thing that is just one between 11 and 12. So basically it's just doing a linear, it's doing a uh, cubic spline interpolation between each days instead of across multiple days, which is what we actually want. Um, but we might be able to do this, let's see. Um, yeah, this is not, um, This is not what we're looking for. Uh, rational interpolate, this is also not what we're looking for, but using the numdeg, we might be able to get this to do what we want. So, let's do rat, rat interpol. Ooh. Hang on. Should be working. Okay. We should be able to just give it. Oh no, we do need a number, a degree always. Um, okay. So let's see if we can get away with. Let's see if we can get away with just doing degree one. Okay. Now it's now it's annoyed at us. This is basically trying to do a linear fit to this data, if I'm understanding rational interpolation correctly. You motherfucker. Okay, so the first degree approximation to this is zero. Let's maybe crank this up to two. Unless it's just looking at like that just means it's going to look at the first two options, which is not helpful. Um, yeah, let's crank this up to 10. Uh, let's crank it up to 4. 
Um, but I get the feeling it's ignoring everything after the first four points. I think this, you actually have to give it like length to deaths of U.S. to get the results we want, which is just going to be a hideous... Well, actually, it might not be that hideous, but it's going to be pretty damn hideous. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh! Less than sample size. Wait, excuse me. Minus one. And now we're just going to get a hideous... Um, although I think I did this wrong. We're seeing the hideous uh, 125th degree polynomial or something. But I get the feeling I should have given it the number of degrees. F Whoa, hang on. The degree of the denominator is calculated automatically. Um, this might not have been the brightest decision in the world. Okay, we'll go ahead and put an N in front of that. That's just going to make it easier to print. Um, but again, we're seeing sort of hideousness here. Um, what kind of bugs me about this is we really, since it's using rational polynomials, it should be able to do a better job um, with a smaller number. It should be able to... Um, it shouldn't need to create a huge numerator polynomial uh, because it can create a, a, a huge denominator uh, polynomial to compensate. Or not, apparently, is the issue. And it might be because this is a strictly increasing function, it's not going to be able to do this either that well. Um, yeah. So maybe we're going to get a little bit creative here. Instead of something that's constantly increasing, let's look at something that goes sort of up and down a little bit. And we'll say degree 5. We'll give you up to 5. And it should be something over something, a polynomial divided by a polynomial. And the idea is hopefully, um, it's not going to be very accurate, but hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll create its own denominator. Okay, that's not looking good. Um... So either I don't understand this, or it's just not doing what it's supposed to do. Okay. And that's it for the interpolation package. So now, usually I just use Mathematica's interpolation package, but... Um, kind of curious to see if I could write my own. Um, which would be very strange, I agree, but... Um, and the idea would be you would try to find a function that fits within a certain tolerance a given number of points, and but you can break up the points if necessary uh, to meet the tolerance. Um, so you would you would have a, uh, a, a not a partial function, but a function that is yay! I'm back in chat. Um, a, a function that is piecewise defined. Or something. So, um, so there's that. Um, it's a damn good question. And how are we gonna get a damn good answer out of that? Well, we can. We, we know we can print out the data that we uh, that we uh, that like we did for the sun, actually, um, and then uh, then see if we can find a uh, way of interpolating it. So that there's that. Um, Um, so, well, at some point we'll have to get the data, um, which I guess what the data we need is the ecliptic latitude and longitude, uh, and then put it into um, Maxima, and then play around with it and see how fucking well we can do. Uh, not that I'm bitter. Um, okay. All right. So we do have this. Um, keep creating better and better programs for this. 
Um, BC any dump two, which should tell me what it. Nope. Um. Okay. Why? Why? Why doesn't it ask me for parameters though? Probably because it's not really doing what it's supposed to do yet. Um. Oh. It is. But if you don't give it options, it defaults. Okay. So you've got to be a little bit careful because these are not... Um, the um, these, these pairs are not... One is not dependent on the other. I mean, it kind of is, but not really. Uh, they're, they're both based on time. So it's actually going to be... Um, Why? Why is this 267? Why, oh, why am I using this weird, bizarre thing called date? Uh, and the format's no longer this at all. Because I'm actually printing stuff out now. Oh, good. Um, do I? This should be up to date, right? Someone, please shoot me. Oh, those are just those are just leading over. Sorry, never mind. We're good. Uh, so, thing, time, blah 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 blah, blah. and. So I guess uh, the right ascension is harder because it actually d jumps um, at 360 degrees. So let's see if we can actually see that. Uh, 150. And so we actually have to compute its its difference. Oh, wow. That didn't go far enough to do that. Um, the declination is probably easier to do. Uh, so let's see. Um, so this is every hour between, a very short period of time. Um, why the hell were those chosen as the defaults? Oh, 10 days from today, that's how I'm doing it, that's why it's weird. Okay. So let's go ahead and like to do the right ascension of and and declination of Mars for a year. Um and see I guess what kind of interpolation we can create for that. Um, and we can use Fourier analysis and all this stuff, to, you know, um, which is how we're supposed to do it, actually, um, to figure out a good interpolation. I mean, it's going to be close to a sine wave for the declination. Uh, for the right ascension, it's going to be close to a line, but if we take the differences, it's going to be uh, close to a constant with a little few wiggles in it here and there. But of course, you know, we do have retrograde motion and, and all that bullshit to think about. Uh, another option would be to just give the Earth and the Sun's, um, the Earth and the planet's J2000 positions, um, subtract and do the computations ourselves. That might be easier because the X, Y, and Z coordinates are close to being sinusoidal, but again, they're not really sinusoidal is the problem. Um, and in fact, as you can see from the VSOP, they can be very, very, you can get them down to a very, very tight if you need accuracy, you need hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh, of iterations of, of cosine waves. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. And since, oh wow, my kilobyte rate has really dropped. Uh, why? Well, um, because I'm pushing a bunch of crap to uh, to get up pages. 
Okay, uh, I think that's going to call it for now. Thank you very much for watching the stream. Uh, again, pretty useless. Um, next time, if there is a next time, uh, I'm going to try to see if we can come up with a... Um, even for the sun, I think we can come up with a better, meaning shorter, interpolation uh, that is still accurate. For the moon, is going to be the most challenging um, because that one that moves pretty fast and pretty erratically. Not super erratically, but fairly erratically. All right, thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.